Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. So you? I'm doing great. Happy to see you. Happy to be here again. Another day, another class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another opportunity. Another opportunity to learn, right? I always say the same three things, right? Another day, <laughs> another class, another opportunity to learn. It is always new. There is always something new to learn, definitely. How was your father's day? Is my home man. It was so so. You said it uh, was so bad. so. Why was it so so? Porque es uh, so so. Because my father um has eh, ¿cómo se dice? fallecido. Passed away. Uh -huh. Oh, Entonces, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Eh, es un día normal para mí hoy ya. I know, I know. That it, it happens in my family as well. Not in my family, but in my husband's family. That, yeah, it's like a difficult day. It's strange. But the good thing is that you enjoy the other ones. I always okay. say that to my husband. Right? It's like, I understand. I understand. I say, it's a hard day. <laughs> Hello, Isabel. How are you? Hello. Good evening. I am Good fine. evening. Welcome. Mr. Walter, welcome. Hello, Walter. Welcome. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. You see? ¿Se acuerdan? Hace como 15 días que les dije yo, y vamos a estar juntos 20 días completos. Ya pasaron 15 casi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it has been so quick and i was like today when i was doing the class i said oh my goodness it's like the last week it's the last everything and i was like oh no, I said, no. <laughs> everything is it's happening too too fast well hello mr jorge how are you jorge que tal todo en la familia todo bien Todo bien, ah, bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Qué le pasó el viernes? Mm, un choque en bicicleta. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Ya, yeah. pero todo Por bien. Una cortadura oh. despuntada. Oh una my frente. God. So it was you. Tú fuiste el que chocó. ¿O quién fue el sí. que chocó? Oh my God. Ay, Jorge, ya le dije que no le despegaba. Un niño, Pero no era suyo. No. Porque si era sí, suyo, no, no hay no, problema. No, sí, no. Es que de repente salió de la calle en bicicleta y ya lo tenía cerca, ya no lo pude de quitar el golpe. <risa> Turn down for what? <laughs> With the bicycle. <laughs> Lo siento, niño, usted a cinco. Que, oh, my God. Que me fui para, para el hospital. Lo lleve. I know. I am very sorry for that. Well, Tengo responsabilidad. <laughs> no, claro, claro. Es responsabilidad social, definitivamente. Muy bien. Bien hecho, Jorge. Pero qué bien que el niño y usted están bien. Isabel, how is your eye going? ¿Qué tal sus ojos? ¿Todo bien? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I am very happy for that. Walter, to internet? Hoy sí. Sí, hoy sí. Creo que estamos con todo. Vaya, no aquí vamos. Voy pasando el list. Yeah, it, it is a lot better. Mr. Comasau, Comayagua, Comasau. Yo estaba pensando en, el, en la ciudad. Mr. Comayagua, ¿qué tal su muela? ¿Cómo va? Ya, yeah, todo bien, teacher. Que me alegra, que me alegra. Super, hay, hay cuestiones bien curiosas, es que este, yo, donde yo trabajo, un día entra un niño y le digo, ¿cómo se dice de tu pie? Y me dice, ni mi mamá me ha preguntado. <risa> <risa> ¿Por qué ni mi mamá se acuerda de mi pie? Y no, ok, yeah, yo, yo sigo, sigo los casos hasta que me dicen que ya están bien. Por ejemplo, ya... 
ya los que ya se sanaron y ya están bien, le damos ahí completado. Le pone el chequecito bueno. Ya, ya, ya está carita contenta. Ya. Seguirá vivo. <risa> well, I hope that you have had a very nice weekend. Uh, for the ones who celebrated Father's Day, I hope that you have had a very good day. For the ones who didn't celebrate but rest, that's very fantastic. So if you did something special with your father or with the figure of father that you have, perfect. I am very glad that you did it. Did you eat cake? Yes, no. Comieron pastelito? No. No. Allá en empresa, no les hicieron día el padre. Ahorita estamos comiéndolo. Hey, nice. <laughs> did, did you have, hey, Mr. Christian, it's so nice to see you. Dichosos los ojos que lo ven. We were missing Mr. Christian a lot. So, I hope, I hope that you practice the reading because we're going to use it today. I hope that you practice the readings like la lectura. No, I, I know that you practice. I am sure that you practice your reading, <laughs> hopefully. I hope that you did. And we are going to use it today. We are also going to practice a little bit of the questions with, uh, with WH. And for sure, we are going to be working on a little bit of listening and a little bit of reading, okay? So this is everything that we are going to be doing today. And for sure, we are going to practice the reading that we were missing from Friday, okay? On Friday, we were practicing a lot. We were doing many things. You were practicing ING. And now we are going to have the opportunity to put everything that we did into practice. So uh, I hope all your group is going to connect in a moment. Ya se van a conectar los demás de su grupo. Espero. Vayan a andar huyendo ahí de que. La lectura, la lectura, nothing, nothing. I hope that you will connect soon. Well, so from one to 10, how was your weekend? From one to 10, del uno al diez, ¿qué tal le fue en el fin de semana? Okay. Eight, no tens, eight, eight. <laughs> okay, that was good. So I need you hello. to, uh-huh. Hello, seven. hello. Seven, okay, seven. My weekend was nice. I think it was a 10. <laughs> it was a 10 this weekend. It's because I never have weekends off, right? Nunca tengo un fin de semana libre. Entonces cuando hay uno, it's perfect, right? It's a 10, it's a total 10. So I need you please to go to the chat, go to the chat on Zoom. I need you to go to the chat on Zoom or I need you to go to the chat on WhatsApp. Do you have access to the chat on WhatsApp? Tienen acceso a su WhatsApp ahorita? Sí. Yes, okay. So that's a lot, of, a lot more fun. So I need you to send me on the WhatsApp chat a sticker that represents your day today, okay? Escojan un sticker que represente su día de hoy. Go ahead. Look for a sticker that represents your day today and send it on the chat. Send it to the WhatsApp chat. Look for a sticker that represents your day today and send it on the chat. Si no tienen stickers, pues un emoticono. Ahí. Look for a sticker that represents your day today. I sent mine. That's my day. <laughs> yeah, my day was crazy, but crazy. I felt exactly like that. Así me sentí todo el día. Yeah, okay. I have Jorge. Why are you crying, Jorge? ¿Por qué la carita llorando? Uh -huh. Okay, Jorge, explain the, the sticker. Explíquenos, uh -huh. Jorge, por qué. Oh my God. <laughs> uh -huh. Jorge, tell me. Porque a pesar de lo que me pasó ese día, el siguiente día perdí en mi partido. <laughs> so, carita triste para eso. Oh, I'm very sorry for that. Luis Parrilla, why the angry sí. one? Uh -huh. 
Los compañeros no cooperan. Todavía me cae una tormenta el día de mí. <risa> oh my God, por favor. You got a, uh, okay, it was so sad. Wendy, the coffee. Why? El cafecito, alegre. Cuéntenos, Wendy. Uh, today was a good day. Today was a good day. Okay, Mr. Manzano. Oh no, Isabel, go ahead. <laughs> no se preocupe, dice que no es la primera vez que me llaman así. No, it's because I read the, the Manzano only and I don't have your... <laughs> Okay, there you go, Mr. Parrilla. I will give you a, a sticker. Okay, uh, Mr. Parrilla, because los compañeros no colaboran, he said. No cooperan. <gasps> oh my God. Yo quiero amar al prójimo, pero el prójimo no se deja. No se deja, exactamente. Okay, good. So, Isabel. Yo pasé molestando a la compañera que estuvo incapacitada jueves y viernes. Le hice drama. <laughs> Okay. No, me puse a reír mucho. Porque me creía lo que le había dicho. Oh my God, Isabel. Mr. Diego, why so violent? Descripción gráfica de mi semana. It's Monday, too. It's Monday. It's like, Así de mal comenzamos. Ha sido una semana dura, pero apenas el lunes, no sé. <laughs> Mr. Edwin Gallegos, you have a smiley face. Pues gracias a Dios me salió bien todo lo que, todo lo que hice este día y me siento bien por eso. Hey, that's so cool. Who's the next one? It doesn't have a name. El siguiente no tiene nombre, but it's, I think it is, Carla Patricia. Ah, pues one. mi día estuvo bien, teacher. Ah, estuvimos trabajo, pero sí siempre reímos y gozamos ahí. That's so nice. Déjeme guardarlo en favoritos because I like it. <laughs> okay, let's see the next one. Thank you, Diego. I also need yours. And let me see. Let's continue here. Uh, Karen Blanco, tell me your sticker. Why? Karencita? Today was a nice day. Today was a nice day. Very good job. Okay, I have the next one here. That it's Catherine, right? Or Normita? ¿Quién sigue? 7181? No tiene nombre. Mi vestige. Ah, okay. Catherine, tell me. Gracias a Dios, bien. Super it, was, bien gracias. it was a good day. Then we have the next one. Kike Os. <laughs> Who is Kike Os? Walter. Walter Soy Enrique. Ah, ya, yeah, Walter Enrique, for sure. Uh -huh. O oh, el Víctor. No, it's, it's Walter. Why the cowboy cat? Ajá, uh -huh. explíquenos por qué el gatito bailarín. Me fue bien. Ah, yeah, a, alegre. It was a happy day. Norma? María contenta. <laughs> Igual tuve un día feliz, solo relajando. <laughs> oh, that was nice. A snake. Who's a snake? Veamos quién es. Hey, hombre, pongan foto de perfil. Mucho. Victor es. <laughs> Victor. That's it. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything. En mí, teacher, me parece ah, así. Ok. <laughs> Ajá. La ovejita Sean, ¿de quién es? Mía. Ajá. It was a good day. Mr. Ronald, we are representing the day with a sticker. Estamos representando el día con un sticker. Ajá. I have another one. Who is Mo? Mo? Who is Mo? Mr. Comayagua, no. Who is it? ¿Quién es el del perrito? Yes, teacher. Ah, why the dog? ¿Por qué el perrito? Porque estuve incapacitado jueves, viernes y mis jefes aún así me estaban pidiendo explicaciones de esos dos días y yo como que, ¿qué? Si yo no vine. 
<laughs> okay, so we were doing that. Okay, Mr. Ronald, look for yours. And we are going to close the activity there. Yeah. So that, that was, it was a very nice day today with everything, right? So we are going to go to the class. We mono Bartolo to the class. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you very much. You see, Jorge, Jorge, ¿qué es eso? Come on, Jorge. Ah, okay, so we're going to start. Uh, Diego, another evil cat. That was so cool. And you see, Dennis was not here. Dennis no hubiera llenado stickers del chat. He loves to do that. So I am glad that you had a very good day. I really like to start the class with something for you to have fun, for you to relax, for you to focus on what we are going to do and you forget everything about the stress of the day and the stress of the classes. We're going to start the day with a quote of the day that says, let's see, I am going to ask, Ooh. I am going to ask Karen Sita to read it, please. Karen Blanco, can you help me to read the quote of the day? It always seems impossible until it's done. It always seems impossible until it's done. What is the meaning of this for you? Uh -huh. My students, what is the meaning of this for you? It always seems impossible until it is done. What does it mean for you? ¿Qué significa eso para ustedes? <coughs> Ajá. Only one, only one. Si hablan todos al mismo tiempo, no les oigo. It always seems impossible until it is done. If you have questions, you can ask me as well. What teacher, what is the meaning of seems? Teacher, what is the meaning of done? What is the meaning of always? <laughs> Uh -huh. Questions, questions. What is the meaning done? <laughs> okay, done. Done is completado. Listo. Done, right? Todo parece okay. imposible hasta que se hace. Do you remember when you started uh, learning English? ¿Se acuerdan su primer día aprendiendo inglés? Do you remember that? Of course. That you say, hey, no, maybe, I know, it's very difficult, not the time, two hours, blah, blah, blah. It's very complicated. And then you are here almost two months later. Ya casi pasaron dos meses desde el primer día. Pero todavía pienso así. And you see, but it's the beginning. You are still doing it. You are uh, because you were not with me in group number one, right? Es que no estabas conmigo en módulo uno. That's the problem. <laughs> so it, it is. It is hard until you do the things, right? You say no, it's complicated. I don't have time to learn English. I don't have time to do it. It is very difficult, blah blah. But you have to organize everything for you to actually complete your goal for you to actually do it and you say in the end you are going to say i remember how difficult it was de aquí al final del, de los módulos van a decir hey y me acuerdo que me quería echar para atrás en el módulo 2 un 19 de junio con teacher nati no it always seems impossible until it is done i remember the first time that i traveled by airplane I was about to die. La primera vez que me subí a un avión, yo dije que me iba a morir allá adentro. And I said, and ah, I am going to die. Ah. And, and I was like that, believe me. But then when I was on the air, I said like, the chivo, I said, how nice. And when I saw the ocean, when I saw the, the land, when I saw everything, I said, hey, it was so beautiful and I never did it before, right? 
because I thought it was impossible. Yo creía que era imposible, que nunca lo iba a hacer, que me iba a morir si lo hacía. But I did it, and I am here teaching you, right? 20 veces después, and I am here. And it is fantastic. It's so everything that you consider impossible in your life, it's because you need to work a little bit more on it, right? Si Diego le parece difícil el reading, que si no, si es que no entiendo los readings. ¿Cuántas readings estás haciendo al día? ¿Cuánto más reading estás practicando? Ah, teacher, no, el listening. Yo no puedo, teacher, no puedo con el listening. No, 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 no. Pero no entramos a practicar listening. No buscamos audios, no buscamos listening. Okay? Teacher, la grammar, I am, I don't know. I cannot do it. I don't know about grammar, teacher. Pero estamos en TikTok. Hay un volado de grammar. Pasar. <laughs> no, right? So please, practice. I am always telling you this. Practice is the only thing that brings perfection. So please, practice. The ones that are more difficult, practice. And you will tell me later that it was impossible at the beginning, but you finish, right? And I, I really, I really, really want to be there giving you the, the diploma at the end of your modules, right? Allá vos lo puedes decir yo, esos diplomas los quiero entregar yo, lo puedes en vivo. ¿sí? <laughs> the ones on advance. And you will tell me that it was impossible at the beginning until it was done. So read it with me. It always seems impossible until it's done. It always, always seems impossible, impossible until it's done. Seems. 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 Seems, right? Remember the S at the end. It always seems impossible until it's done. Until it's done. Who can who can ride a bike here? Can put it in bici here. Raise your hand if you can do it. Okay, I cannot do it. Yo no puedo. So for you, it was impossible, but you did it. For me, it is still impossible. I have to do it one day. Who can who can swim? Raise your hand if you can swim. Yes. Yes, I can swim. Right. Aprendí a la mala, pero aprendí. So it's like at least I don't die. That's one thing. Who can cook? Raise your hand if you can cook. Everything counts. Hasta la web vida cuenta. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everything. So, remember the first day. La primera vez que encendieron la cocina. Y salió like... <laughs> it seemed impossible, but you did it. Right? And you have been doing that every single day since that day. So, I leave you the quote of the day. It always seems impossible until it is done. That's the way we start the class. Today, we're going to work with WH questions with ING. Okay, we're going to work on that for sure. We're going to have the grammar practice, the reading, <laughs> the exercises, and the wrap up. I need you to get your notebook, please. Get your notebook. On your notebook, on your notebook. I need you to write any word on your notebook. Write any word, cualquier palabra, any, any word. In English, for sure, <coughs> not in Spanish. Any word, right? Cat, tomato, potato, water, television, any word in English. One. Any, any word. verbo, cosa. Any word, cualquiera. Puede ser verbo, cosa, cual. Solo nombres propios, no. That's the only thing. Because they are too easy, right? So you can say shirt, hand, eye, mouth, eh, cell phone, whatever. Whatever you want to write. Any word. So, Luis Parrilla, what is your word? People. People. Jorge? Eat it. Which one? Eat. Eat. No, cuál E A G. Eat. Okay, Diego. Everything. Everything. Edwin, Ernesto. Cucumber. Cucumber. Carla Patricia. Red. Red. 
Mr. Kobayawa? Happy. Happy. Christian? Light. Light. Catherine? Cat. Which one? ¿Cuál escribiste? Cat escribí yo. Ah, cat, cat, cat. Ok, Ronald. Wolf. Work. Eh, Isabel? Wolf. Ah, walk. Ok. Sometimes. 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 Yes. With S. Norma Jamilet? Stomach. 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 CH. Ok. Carla Patricia? Red. Ah, red. You told me already. Catherine, you told me already. Victor Manuel? Girls. Walter Enrique? Pink. Okay, Wendy Beatriz. Flowers. Flowers. And Karen Blanco? Hands. Okay, good, hands. So, what are we going to do right now? We're going to have three minutes for this exercise, okay? We're going to have three minutes for this exercise and I am going to explain it to you right now. Let me just get my watch. Three minutes for this. And what we're going to do is the following. We are going to take the word that you have there and you are going to write a new word with the last letter of your word, okay? You are going to write a new word with the last letter of your word. How are you going to do it, okay? Los que tienen cat lo tienen que cambiar because that was my example. So you have cat and then the next word, tomato. The next word, orange. The next word, eraser. You have to write one new word with the last letter of your word, okay? Did you get the idea? ¿Me captan la idea de lo que vamos a hacer? You have to write, listen, you have to write a new word with the last letter. Una nueva palabra con la última letra que les quede de la palabra que escriban. Okay? So if you have cut, Aquí me quedó la T, entonces pongo tomato, aquí me quedó la O, orange, aquí me quedó la E, pongo eraser, aquí me quedó la R, puedo poner rainbow, rabbit, whatever. And then you are going to continue writing as many as possible, ¿ok? We are going to have three minutes. Tienen tres minutos para esto. So, palabras no, no, no. ¿Cuántas serían? Todas las que puedan en tres minutos. All the ones that you can write in three minutes. Todas las que pueden escribir en tres minutos. Okay, so you are going, you are going to continue. Okay, la palabra que eligieron, ahí tenganla, esa es la primera. Con la última letra de su primera palabra van a escribir la siguiente. De ahí, con la última letra que les quede, la siguiente, con la última, la siguiente, con la última, la siguiente. And you continue, like that. Okay, si aquí ponen, por ejemplo, en vez de poner cat, me ponen tiger, tendría que escribir una con R. In the end, si aquí me ponen red, una con D, and you continue like that, okay? Three minutes, starting. Did you all get it? ¿Todos me comprendieron lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Okay, starting right now. Three minutes. Go ahead. Hello, Dennis. How are you today? Welcome. <laughs> This is what we are doing, Dennis. Write any word in your notebook and write a new word with the last letter of your word. Okay, vas a escribir una palabra nueva con la última letra de la palabra que escriba. Like this, okay? Capici, capici. Capici, very good. Go ahead, three minutes. <laughs> No sé, teacher, Nati, ¿por qué ves eso? Sí. Por you to practice vocabulary. Ya. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Three minutes. No. Oh. <laughs> don't repeat words, ¿ok? Don't repeat words. That's one... Uh -huh. No, don't repeat it. No me poner cat, 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 cat en todo el... Ah, no. y ya en, como media página sale una vez. 
I, oh, no, 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 invent another one. There are so many words in the world. Qué importa. No, I am fair. Here you have the time. The time. No sé si sale aquí o aquí, pero en algún lado está aquí. Uy, don't die, don't die. No. Go, 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 go. You pero can do la it. última letra es repite, Tisha. Ah, pero pongo otra palabra. Ah, another word. Pongo oh. otra palabra. <laughs> Alteré todo. <Fred. laughs> no, write a different one. You're not going to be write, writing the same letters and the same words. I mean, try to try to change it, right? No va a poner con la T, solo tomato, tomato, tomato. No, 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 no. Stupid. Let's go, let's go. Three minutes, two, one minute, 27 seconds. It can be anything, an adjective, a verb, anything. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We have one minute. One minute. No, tonta sé. <risa> sí, le han hecho las letras para que me las esté mayor pendiente. Cabbage, color, colorful, coat, car. There are so many words with C. 29 seconds. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Three, two, one, and I'm stuck. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Mano arriba, mano arriba. No more writing, no more writing. Ha ha. I need you to count the words. Oh. How many do you have? How many did you get? Cuenten cuántas le salían. Nine. Nine? Really? <laughs> Only Seven. nine? 23. 23. Good, 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 good. 16. Okay. 19. 16, 19, 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 17. Nine. Nine. Let's see. Edwin, what was your word? Edwin Ernesto. Cucumber, rabbit. Cook. Cucumber, R al final. Uh -huh. Rabbit, C al final, thorn. Uh -huh. N al final, noise. S al final, sim. M al final, morning. K al final go, O al final ocean, N al final nine. Nine. <laughs> okay, then you can continue writing more. Let's see. Mr. Luis Parrilla, how many did you get? Okay, people. F, good, bay, yellow, water, red, dog, garage, employees, sweet, tomatoes, study, bear, Rabbit, Thai, email, lemon, news, what, star, knife, everything. Oh, very good. Very good job. I need one more. Who wants to share? ¿Quién más la quiere compartir? I need one more. 
Karencita, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hands, small, let, think, no, write, English, home, edition, never, try, to, orange, energy, yes, swim, nothing, grow, white. Nice, nice job, very good job. So, another exercise, people. I leave you another exercise for you to practice your English, for you to challenge yourself. Rétense mañana. Si hoy hicieron nueve, rétense mañana con otra palabra. Rétense pasado mañana con otra. Until you get more than nine, more than 10, more than 14, okay? It is challenging because you have to think, right? And you have to challenge yourself to write more and more vocabulary, okay? Did you like the exercise? ¿Te gusta esta práctica? Yes. It is, yes. it is challenging for your brain, right? Your brain is like, I did not know. <laughs> Another one, but it's good. It's good for you to practice, right? And it is very simple. You don't need anything. ¿Qué necesitan? Un lápiz, un lapicero, un papel. That's it. That's the only thing that you need, okay? So I leave you there, the practice for today. So what are you going to do? We are going to go to the reading challenge. Most of your groups are here. So we are going to set up for the practice of the paragraphs. No, we haven't, right? So I am going to, I, I know you remember your group, right? Se recuerdan de su grupo? Yes. Yes. So I am going to send you to work right now to set up. And for sure, we are going to start. Let me see. 15, 16, 17, 18. 14, 16, 17. Good. So I am going to send you to work with your group. Let me just stop sharing here so I can open the rooms. And I am going to organize you. Okay. Let's see. We have uh, Dennis. Who were you working with? Con quien ibas? Dennis? Karen, Walter, y Jorge. Karen, Walter, and Jorge. Hoy Jorge, aquí está. Walter, Rio, Victor, es. <laughs> ah, Vic Victor. Victor or Walter? Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. No! <laughs> I have only opened one room. Okay, I will make another one. Espérenme que se me fue el botón de abrir salas. No acepten nada. Okay, no acepten nada. Voy a volver a abrir todo esto. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lo siento, fui yo la que le di al botón a abrir las salas. Sorry. Ahí voy. Hoy sí. Okay, group number two, I am going to add. Uh, Ronald, who were you working with? Diego, Norma, Mauricio, Comayao. Diego and Edwin Mauricio. Okay, the next one, let's go with... And Norma. And Norma, I have it. Uh, Mr. Luis Parrilla. Uh, Edwin Gallegos, Isabel uh -huh. and Wendy. Isabel and Wendy. And I go here. Uh, Christian, no, Carla Patricia. Teacher, no sé por qué no estoy en esa clase. Por oh cuando my God. Enferma. I have Christian, Carla, Catherine, y Victor. <laughs> exactly, my new students. Los cuatro cabal que me hicieron falta. There you Casualmente. Go. <laughs> okay, casualidad o destino. I, we never know. So now, accept my invitation. Oh, now, yes. It's good. Jorge por dos, they say. Okay, Victor Manuel, accept my invitation to go to the groups. Hello, Victor. Mm 
Victor, can you accept my invitation for the groups? Hello. Victor, te llegó la invitación para los grupos. Aún no estamos. No está la ticha. Hi. Okay. On Friday, on Friday, I send you this practice to your WhatsApp. Do you remember? I send you the okay. practice to your WhatsApp. So on Friday, what we did is to practice reading. So one student took each paragraph. So for example, Carla Patricia is going to read number one. Uh, Catherine is going to read number two. And Christian is going to read number three. And Victor is going to read number four, but he is not connecting. So I am going to push him to come. Right Dentro, now. Teacher. Oh, thank you. Right now, I need you to practice. I need you to practice the reading, okay? If you have questions on pronunciation or something, you can ask me, okay? So I am not going to do the evaluation for you today. A ustedes no lo voy a evaluar el día de hoy, pero sí mañana, okay? Because okay. on Friday, we have the opportunity to practice. No, it's because on Friday, all your friends practice a lot, right? El viernes practicamos un montón con sus compañeros. And you need to have the opportunity to do it. So please, tomorrow I am going to do the evaluation for you. And you are going to do exactly what they are going to do today. Okay. So right now I need you to practice. Practice the reading. Divide it. Who is going to read number one? Who is going to read number two, three, and four? Okay. If you have questions about pronunciation, tell me. Okay. You can send me okay. on the WhatsApp chat or here or call me anyway. Okay. Okay. So listen. Okay, I am going to read it one time. Se lo voy a leer yo una vez y de ahí se quedan ustedes practicando. Okay. Yes. Listen and write. Okay. Take notes. Tomen notas. It's okay. It's okay. You can you can do it. It says. Okay. I will silence you because I am going to be speaking. Lo voy a silenciar porque voy a hablar yo. And so you can listen. Okay. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Okay, let's go with the next one. The next one, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business gains to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you are going to be the prime target. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their, get, their best guests forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, it's complicated, but not impossible, right? Todo parece imposible hasta que lo intentamos. Así que, it was the phrase of the day. So, I am going to go and help the other ones. Tienen los cuatro párrafos en WhatsApp. So, you can check it there. I am going to go and help 
el grupo of people. Si alguno de ustedes quiere compartir pantalla con el eh, manual, you can do it, okay? So, okay. I am going to Gracias. go and help. Don't worry. Practice, okay? Practice. Okay. Sí. Lo primero que tienen que hacer es dividirse el párrafo. I am here. Ahorita lo vamos a dividir. Yes. <laughs> bueno. No. Necesita. Acá alguien anda buscando la copia. Hello. Teacher. Teacher, como bueno. yo no, eh, digamos, no, no leí ninguna. ¿verdad? Hoy me toca, bueno, elegí la number two, eh, celebrity birthday. Uh -huh. Una palabra, tengo problema. Celebrate. Birthday. Birthdays. Celebrate birth birthdays. Birthdays. En la, en la palabra Disney, Eva. Let me see. You don't lose how to rally and lose. To rely, okay? Listen, I am going to read it one time for you because you were not here on Friday, right? Solo porque andaba de accidente. I am going to read it for you. And it says, Listen and pay attention, okay? Pon atención, escuche. Okay. And it says, celebrate birthdays. Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone has a birthday. Someone in your team has a birthday. There you go. Birthday. <laughs> the next one. Painful. <laughs> and the next one. And the first one, teacher. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> La leímos el viernes. Walter, tú estuviste aquí conmigo. Come on. No, no estuve el viernes. <laughs> Es que no le oía nada. Paintball. Paintball. It says, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out, though. As the boss, you are going to be the prime target. Okay. And then it's number one. Which one? Number four. Number four? Who is the number four? Karen. Karencita, where are you? Karen. Karencita? Hello. I was looking for the captures, dijo. Because I had lost them. Karen. But here I am, I'm going to go. Karencita, ¿dónde estás? <laughs> This is the first call for Karen Blanco. Teacher Nati is looking for you. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Dennis, there you go. Lo regalo, Dennis. Feliz día al pan. No, soy papá, estoy chiquito todavía. No, but I mean, one day in the future, you are going to be. I know, I know. No, estoy chiquito. Ajá, así dije yo un día. I will never become a mother, I said. Aquí estoy en mi vida, seis años más tarde. No, no va a haber. Whenever, acknowledging, no. dijo. Sí. Acknowledging, acknowledging. 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 Karencita, en WhatsApp, preguntémosle a Karencita dónde anda. Yo buscando la. Una videollamada. Ah, ah, she's ah, back. Bien. Thank you, Karencita. <risa> We were worried about you. Creímos que la has habido a buscar a la empresa. No. Es que las imprimí, las dejé en la oficina. <risa> 
Okay, good. Practice, people. Practice, okay? Practice. I will come back. I will go and see the other one. Voy a ver a los otros pollitos, ya ven. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ready? People, ready? Veo con cara de aflicción, ¿qué pasa? Tan concentrado. I can see. Look at Diego, very serious. Está bien, pues, pensando. Ah, yeah. look at Norma. I just hear the Padre Nuestro. <laughs> and they are laughing now. They are not that concentrated. Mr. Diego, done? Ready? Uh, what? Um, what is your favorite song of Guns N' Roses? Uh, me gusta, me gustan varias, pero me gusta la de que dice Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the jungle. That's what I say to my classes. <laughs> Cuando tengo clase presencial. Eh? That's what I say at the beginning. Well, welcome to the jungle. Is it? That's so cool. Good, good, good. I love Don't Cry. That's my favorite. And November Rain. It's cool. Bueno, I love those. Okay, ready? Ustedes van a ser el número uno. Busca. Number Why? one. <laughs> Why? 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 Uh -huh. Because you are ready. Because because of yes. <laughs> no, group number okay. one. Group number one is Dennis, Jorge, Karen, and Walter. You are group number two. And group Why? number because that's the order of the rooms. Group number three uh -huh. is Edwin, Luis, Wendy, and Janira. And group number four. Are the new ones. Aquí vienen los nuevos, los que no habían venido a clase. So, practice one more time. Que le voy a dar chance que practiquen una vez más. Okay. 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 But listen to yourself, okay. pero háganlo que se escuchen, porque si no, ¿cómo van a saber quién, quién la va a regar al momento de hablar? So, practice. Nadie la va a regar, teacher. I know, that's why. Yo confío en usted. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Okay, let's send the message to the groups. We have two minutes to finish and come back to the main room. So please practice for the last time.
There. The students are coming back from the groups right now and they're going to have the reading exercise, the reading practice. Here they are. Hello. Hello, hello. How Ex are just... <laughs> I am doing great. Hello, Mr. And everybody's back. How cool. Well, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. don't cry, people. El, <laughs> Go away. El famoso chan 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 de la teacher. Chan chan chan. 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 I, oh, I love that one because it's my mystery thing. I cried. Chan chan chan. Ya, yeah, es como no puedo ocupar, si pudiera ocupar este efectos de audio, sería chivísimo, pero no puedo. Ya, yeah. yeah, because of YouTube, porque nos venta los videos. Si no, lo pasaríamos divertido. But I cannot do it. Well, group number one. Group number one, it's made up of, let me see. Group one is Dennis Gerardo, Jorge Antonio, Karen, and Walter. Group number two, Diego, Edwin, Norma, and Ronald. And group number three, Edwin, Luis, Wendy, and Isabel. And group number four, that is going to be for tomorrow because they are the new students. And group number four is for tomorrow. Christian, Carla, Catherine, and Victor Manuel. Okay, nuestros niños nuevos porque andaban enfermitos. So we have... De group number four. <clears throat> group number one. Dennis, Jorge, Karen, and Walter. Okay. I am going to be sharing the screen. And don't, don't feel bad if I mark something. Si ven que marco algo, eh, no se sientan así como, <gasps> no. Okay. It's because it's just like that. Okay. Don't feel bad if you see me doing this. Okay because it's something that we need to work. Eso significa que es lo que tenemos que trabajar un poquito más, okay? So, let's do uh, paragraph number one, but the team is going to cheer you up, okay? Todos lo vamos a echar porras. So like, go, 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 you can do it. Yay, yeah, yeah, clap for your friends. They are going to do a nice job. Demole un aplauso a sus amigos. You are going to do a good job. You are going to do a nice job. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. Relax the muscles. Okay, una relajadita de muscles. Okay, you can do it, Dennis. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, como en el fútbol. Okay, go, go, go. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, relax. No me gusta el fútbol. No, ni a mí, pero así le hacen. <laughs> I don't like football, but they are like, okay, go, go, go. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. Vamos a ser campeón, they say. And, and they do it, right? Allá está mi papá en el sacachispa. Y perdió 3 a 0. Exactly. That was the name of the team. Así se llamaba el, part, el equipo en papá. Saca chip. Okay, let's está, go. Todos estaban viejitos. <laughs> Organize yoga classes. One, two, and let's go. One, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't you understand? They made the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tensions, improve brain function, and lift more. What but won't one does outcomes. Celebrate. Birthdays. Um, you don't choose how to really um, business games to boss morales, moral. Simply acknowledging a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, no use as employees, get everyone to sing a car, hat, a cake, one among, on some play, buy, take, and run. 
Uh, of coffee, each time someone in your team has has as a birthday. Number three. Number three. Boy. Painball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam be organizing a day painball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out those as the boss. You're going to be a prime target. Number four. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best, best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy light header fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Good job, team, yay! You see? It was impossible until it was done, right? Todo parecía imposible. No podemos teacher now. And you did it. That was nice. Congratulations to the team. Very good job. Now we're going to see, right? Just a practice. Remember, don't eat words, right? No se coman las palabras, no se coman las letras. If you work in an office, right? In an office, underestimate attitude, attitude. Rely, rely, boost morale, right? Acknowledging, just get, sign, sing is like la 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 la. That's sing, sign, right? Once a month, once a month, by organizing a day off painful, okay? No se coman las palabras, no se coman las palabritas. Staff morale. Though, watch out though, and lighthearted, lighthearted and humor, okay? So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is an eight point three, okay? Ah. Well, what a horrible eight, right? Ocho treinta. Very good job. At least you pass, okay? You survive. Pasaron rapadito como minuta, right? 8.30, 8.30. Very good job. Group number two. What is the challenge on group number two? Group number two uh, already listened to the correction, right? Group number two ya escuchó las correcciones. So you cannot make the same mistakes, okay? <laughs> You cannot say attitude, right? It's attitude because I already corrected. Christian, tell me. Christian? <laughs> okay, fue celebración. Group number two. Go ahead. Bye. Vamos aquí el recuento. The first one, we have 8.3. Go with the next one. I will make it bigger. And I will organize it. Just give me a second. Go ahead. Action. And go. Uh, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga. Could have of their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, cold the mind, with tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What does world want those on coming? We was almost perfect. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number two, celebrate birthdays. 
you don't just have to rely on business game to boost morale. Simply acknowledging a special location can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about team as people, not just as employee. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them around. Of coffee, it's time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three. Number three, painful. Give your employees an opportunity to let up some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff work. Watch up though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Perfect job. Number four, guess who? Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to their best guesses forward on each one. It's a big of easy life harder from that will definitely help life spirit while offering plenty of humor along the way. Excellent job, my team. That's for your team. Very good job. Wow, very excellent reading. We only had four mistakes, four mistakes, okay? Four mistakes, that's a 9.6 for all of you. It's a 9.6. Outcomes, outcomes, outcomes. right? Outcomes, outcomes. them, them, that you care about outcomes. them. And it was perfect. Congratulations, Diego, very good reading. It's a bit, a bit, a bit, and lift, bit, lift, okay? It was a perfect reading. Very nice job, group number two, 9.6, fantastic, 9.6, excellent job. You see, y el viernes ahí estaban llorando, no podemos, teacher, we cannot do it, teacher, no, teacher, it's impossible. It's, uh, it seems impossible, but it was done. Group number three, action. Espérame, teacher, que no lo veo todo. <risa> ¿Cómo? Es que lo veo, lo tenía del otro lado. Espérame, quiero ver si lo, si lo giro. Ay, no. Eso, gracias. Un well. momento, please. Ah, bueno, ya no lo puedo hacer más grande. Ahí. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office, and your employees are sitting at computer every day. Don't underestimate the impact yoga. Call have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss will want those outcomes? Very good, very good job. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number two, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to rely on business gate to book moral. Simply acknowledging a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not you as employees. Get everyone to sign a car, have K one a month, or simply buy them around. Us coffee each time someone in your team as a birthday. Painful. Number three, painful. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out dog as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Perfect. Number four, guess who? Guess who has everyone to bring a childhood photo of the themselves and put them all up on a board and they get, and then get every, everyone to put their best guesses for what on each one. 
it is bits of easy light her the found dance will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of hum humor along the way. Very good job. Nice job, my dear team. Fantastic reading. Good job on group number three. Attitude. Attitude. Say attitude. Function. Function. Okay, the next one. Just. Not just as employees. Not just as employees. Once a month, right? Once a month. Everyone in your team has a birthday. Has a birthday. Perfect. Painball is not children. It's childhood. Childhood. It's a bit. A bit of easy. A bit of easy, lighthearted fun. A bit of easy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mistakes. And that means a 9.4. Okay. 9.40. Very good job. Excellent. Great. So group number three. Great job, 9.4, okay, aquí tenemos. So, so far so good, the winners are group number two with 9.6. We are missing one group, right? Aún el último grupo se puede sacar 10 el día de mañana. I hope that for tomorrow. People, congratulate your group. Agradezcale a su grupo, por favor, por trabajar con usted. Gracias, Isa, Wendy, Edwin. Hey, thank you, Tim. Gracias Are... al grupo. Thank you. Yeah, you... Thank, thank you, partners. Thank you, thank you partners, you. right? Why? Because the most important thing that someone can share with you is time. Es lo más importante que alguien le puede compartir. Tiempo. That's the only thing because you will never get it back. Jamás se lo van a regresar. Very good job for the ones who read in a perfect way. And for the ones who have one or two mistakes, it was good. So now you have something that you need to work a little bit more. Did you see the difference? Did you listen to yourself reading? ¿Se escucharon ahora como leen? ¿Se escucharon leer ahora? Mejor que el viernes. It was a lot, be a lot better than the first day. Ooh, the first day that I met, it was like... Ta -ta 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 no, right? Now you give the intonation when you are reading. You give intonation and that's what practice creates. Agarren un libro en inglés, búsquenlo, si no cómpranlo ahí en el centro, en la pasada, de lo que sea. Anything, but in English. And read it, right? Get the book and start reading, reading out loud, right? Read out loud. It helps a lot, right? Esa es la mejor práctica que puede haber para la entonación del inglés. Get a book about anything and read it in English. It is going to be very beneficial for you, right? It can be anything, about anything but you need to practice, right? So any book in English, any book in English, get it, read it, it's going to nice. It's if you don't have a book, si no tienen un libro ahí en la mano, si no lo pueden conseguir, busquen articles in English online, basic, intermediate, advanced level, and do the same, hagan la misma práctica, okay? So next day, you are going to, you are not going to say, ay, nunca me dijo la teacher cómo practicar. No, I am giving you the options, okay? So, very good job. Group number four, chicos del grupo cuatro, ya vieron cómo es, ya vieron lo que van a hacer mañana. So you have a lot of practice to do, okay? Practice a lot. Mr. Christian, Catherine, Mr. Victor, practice a lot. And Carlita Patricia, practice for tomorrow, okay? Practice, practice, and practice. So, True or false? You read it many times. Ya lo leyeron un montón de veces. Yoga has an important effect on your employees. It's true or false? True. Yoga has an important effect on your employees. True? True. true. Why? Por qué? Why yoga has a good impact on your on your team? Do you remember? Why is yoga important for your team? Can alleviate stress. Can alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, 
brain function and live smooth, right? Cambiarles el ánimo. Yoga. Yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. True or false? False. False, because we just read it, right? Lo acabamos de leer. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. True. Based on the reading. False. False. It's false. Why? Simply. What does it say there? Simply. Acknowledging a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Workers can play paintball inside the office. True. You can, but you shouldn't. Workers can play paintball inside false. the office. It's false. Why? No, imagine how crazy. So it says like... Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale, right? Simply getting out, right? Saliendo de la oficina, saliendo de la oficina puede ser un gran cambio. Una salidita afuera. The next one. Childhood photos can offend employees. True. 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 False. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift the spirits while offering a plen plenty of humor along the way. They are not going to feel offended because you need it for a good purpose, right? Childhood photos can offend employees? No, right? That's not that's not true, right? It's false. So that was the practice, people. Complicated, a little bit difficult. Yes, I know. The vocabulary was a little bit advanced. Yes, I know. But it was not something that you couldn't do, okay? Todos los retos son difíciles al principio. But then it was like, ah, now I can do it. Si puedo leer ese, puedo leer otro más grande. Tráigame otro teacher, tráigame otra lectura más difícil. So, you see, it was a very nice practice. I really, really like the way you did it. Me encantó cómo lo hicieron, eh, la seriedad del caso. It was good. Very excellent job. So, let's do this little practice for the topic that we're going to cover today. And the topic that we're going to cover is WH questions with ING forms. So in these ones, we have different WH words, okay? What are the WH words that we normally use? And we have them right here, aquí las tenemos. Which ones are the WH words? Where? Where, what, what when, when, who, why, why, why how, okay? I call them the nosy questions, right? Do you know what's the meaning of nosy? Nosy, and I will make it bigger for you. Do you know what's the meaning of nosy? No idea? No. No idea for nosy? No, nosy, right? Nosy, it's an, it's a, it's length, so it's una palabra como es como una expresión idiomática que decimos don't be nosy don't put your okay. nose where no one is calling you right that's our nosy voy a meter la nariz donde no te han llamado right that's nosy I call them the nosy words because you say and where and what and how and who with whom how that's a nosy words right it's like if you tell your best friend. Imagínense que les diga a su mejor amiga. Ayer salí en la tarde. Really? Where? 
Go. What did you do? What time did you go? Who was with you? Where did you go? What did you eat? And then you start asking a lot of questions, right? They are nosy questions. <laughs> because they're like, I just, come on. I know, otra vez. Con el mismo. So like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Ash, amiga. El toxic. So you say those are the nosy words of English. Because you want to know everything. Es que saber todo. ¿A qué hora? ¿Dónde? ¿Con quién? ¿Cuánta? ¿Cuántas, no sé, cuántas veces han ido? ¿A dónde fueron? ¿Qué comieron? Whatever. Everything. They want to know everything. So where? Where means a place, right? Where? What? It's in general, right? When? ¿Qué día? ¿Qué horas? Who? ¿Quién? Why? What is the meaning of why? ¿Por qué? Right? How? Com. Como. 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 Imagine that you tell me, teacher, what are you doing right now? I am giving a class. Where, teacher? What are you teaching? In my house. When is the class, teacher? It's at seven. And who is in the class, teacher? My students, right? The best students of the groups. Ah, uh, and why, teacher? Why, why are you teaching? Because they need the English, right? They need to learn English. And, and how are you, how are they doing, teacher? Uh, they are doing great. They are good students, right? And I give more and more and more information, right? How do you build up a question with WH? The WH word, then you have the auxiliary verb, the verb to be, then you have the subject, then you have the verb, and then you have the complement, right? The question of today, ¿qué pregunta les hice a mediodía? What was my question in the chat? Uh-huh. What was my question in the chat? Diego, what was my question in the chat? Eh. Uh, what were you doing on the moment? Okay, what were you doing on the moment you received my message? What no. were you <laughs> what were you doing on that moment on which you open the chat and you say Nati sent something, right? Que raro. So what were you doing at the moment, right? What were you doing at the moment of getting my message? So that, that was a WH word, right? What are you doing right now? That's a WH word. If I ask you, where are you right now? What will be your answer? Where are you right now? In my room. In my, in my room, right? In my room. What are you right now? In my house. In my house. In which part of the house? In my bedroom. In my bedroom. La sala bedroom. No, living room. In the living room. In my bedroom, in the living room. Where are you right now? In my kitchen. In my kitchen. Okay. In my room. In the garage. <laughs> okay. Outside the house. I can keep paying a list of it, right? <laughs> on the park, on the street, right? You are in your house right now, right? So, uy, cuidado, in the kitchen. <laughs> Who is in the kitchen? <laughs> Alguien anda tirando platos ahí, in the kitchen. Oh, it's Luis Parri. <laughs> hey, Luis, um, if you are hungry, tell me. I, I, you can eat, don't worry. Si tiene hambre, comas algo ahí, don't worry. <laughs> The questions, the example. What is the first example? Where? What is the where, first example? Oh. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? Okay. Imagine if your mother opens the door right now. Si su hermana, su mamá, su alguien en su casa abre la puerta ahorita. Hey, hey. Where are you going to? To the store. Ah, bring me a churrito, please. <laughs> yeah. Your mother is going to say, okay, let me see. Is someone in your house watching TV right now? ¿Hay alguien en su casa viendo tele? No. No, no one? 
Yeah. Okay, no, imagine that you weren't in class. Imagínense que no están en clases. What are you watching on TV? Si no estuvieran en clases, ¿qué estuvieran viendo? What are you watching on TV? In TV, nothing. In my phone, TikTok. <laughs> I go to sleep. sleep. Netflix. I am Movies. Movies on Netflix, okay? And Edwin, I love Edwin Gallegos. Like, I know sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, teacher. I know, me too, me too. But uh, if I go to sleep before nine, I am awake at three in the morning, right? Si me acuesto antes de las ocho a las tres de la mañana ya estoy, pero mire. Como que nada pasado en este mundo. So, sleeping, watching TV, okay, watching movies on Netflix. Let's see the next one. This is a general example, right? When is Mike leaving school? ¿A qué horas o cuándo? ¿En qué momento se va a ir Mike de la escuela? When are you leaving your work tomorrow? When are you leaving your work tomorrow? When, what time are you leaving your work tomorrow? ¿A qué hora salen mañana? At 5. At 5 a.m. No, when are you leaving your work tomorrow? No, for work. 4.33, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, And in that case, to give an answer, in ese caso, eh, Luis, ¿cómo darías una respuesta? You can say, I finish at different times, not the same time every day. So that means that you have different schedules, right? What time are you leaving your work tomorrow? It's like, ¿qué hora vas a salir? When are you leaving for work tomorrow? It's different because in this one, you are asking, ¿A qué hora vas a salir de tu casa para el trabajo? That's the second question, right? What time are you leaving your work tomorrow? ¿A qué hora vas a terminar? What time are you leaving for work? It's a qué hora te vas a ir en la mañana, okay? The next one. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? What would be your answer? Who are you talking to? ¿En quién estás hablando? Who are you talking to? With teacher Nati. I'm talking with teacher Nati, right? Be careful with your girlfriend, right? Because it's like, who are you talking to? Nati. Ah, que bonito. ¿Quién es esa tal Nati? My teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking to, right? Be careful with that. Why is the teacher saying that? Why is the teacher explaining the WH questions? Why is the teacher explaining the topic? What would be your answer? Why is the teacher explaining the topic? ¿Por qué está explicando el tema la maestra? Because I learn. learn. <laughs> Because yeah. I am learning, right? Because I am learning, because I need to learn. How are they coming here? Okay, imagínense que los vamos a ir a visitar a ustedes a su casa. How are we going there? No voy a estar. Yo ahorita iba para afuera. <laughs> How can we get to your house? ¿Cómo podemos llegar a su casa? A sus casas. No pasa, no pasa. ¿Va a venir a pie o va a venir en bici? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I cannot ride a bike. Um, by, by Uber. I will I will go by Uber. <laughs> oh really? Uh, no. We <laughs> get <laughs> Oh, no. So if someone wants to go to your house, can they go by bus, by car? By taxi, by motor taxi. How can someone go to your house? 
¿Cómo puede llegar alguien a tu casa? Walking. Walking, ok, walking. Working in car. By Uber. car. By Uber, oh. by car. By horse. By horse. By bike. By bike. Horse. By horse. Imagine just like, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with a hat. I will go with my hat. Yeah. No hay nada caballo, no entra. Yo le voy a prestar el de mi papi. Papi, présteme el caballo. Voy a visitar esta bitch. So, those are the different WH questions, right? But what are the meaning of those words, right? What is the meaning of where ask for a place, right? Where asks for a place. What are the examples that we have here? Okay. Ah, okay, Luis, help me with the first one. That's <laughs> okay. It's the same. Where is she living? She living in New York. She's living in New York. Now, Ronald, help me the, with the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for sure. Where are you, where are you meeting your friends? I am meeting them at the school. I am meeting them at school. Catherine, can you help me with the next one? Catering. What are you? What are you? Hey, eating, eating, eating. I am eating fruits. I am eating fruits. Very good, Christian. Help me with the next one. What are you reading? I reading a funny book. A funny book. Very good. This is what general questions, right? What are you reading, Diego? Can you help me with when? What is the meaning of when? When are you meeting your father? When and are you meeting your father? Uh huh. I am meeting him at nine. I am meeting him at nine. What is the meaning of when? Cuando. Cuando, right? It asks for information about time, about time or about an, a specific date, right? An a specific day or an specific day. Okay, what is the next example, Mr. Jorge? When is she coming home? home. She is coming home late today. She's coming home late today. Very good job. Let's go with the next one. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Karen Blanco. Can you help me with the next one? Who? Who are they traveling with? They Who? are traveling with Tom. Okay. Who are they traveling with? They are traveling with Tom. And what is the first one? Edwin Ernesto. Perdón, teacher. Perdón, perdón. The first one. I need this one. Who is she? Who is she talking on the phone? Lea la primera de who? Who is she talking on the phone? On the phone, the phone. The phone, uh huh. She is talking to her mother. She's talking to her mother. Okay. I need examples. I need examples of questions with where. Examples of questions with where. And ING forms for sure. Look at the examples and give me one extra example. Invéntense otro ejemplo. Give me one example. Any, any example. Where have you where been? Do you live? Live in, where do you where live? Where do you work? Where, okay, with ING forms. ¿Cómo lo haríamos? Con las preguntas de ING. Remember the form. Completen las, las partes. Where are you? Are. Y el verbo en, I, en ING. Where, where are you? Are you? Living. Where are you living, right? Where are you living? I am living in San Salvador right now. Uh huh. Where, where, where? Where are you? 
Vamos, a ver otra. Where are you? Where are you working? Where are you working? I'm working in the office in my house. Where, where, where? Where are you eating? What are you eating? In front of the computer. <laughs> where are you? Where are you cooking? What are you cooking? I'm cooking in the kitchen. Another question. Where, where, where? Mr. Dennis, ha estado demasiado callado esta tarde. Questions with where? A question um, with where? Let's see. Where are you doing? Where? No, where? 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 Uh -huh. Where are you doing? Oh, ¿dónde? No. <laughs> where is donde? No se me viene nada a la mente. Ok, if where I are ask you, you watching TV? Where are you watching TV? I am watching TV in the living room, en la sala. I am watching TV in the living room. Okay, for example, Dennis, where are you sitting right now? Where are you sitting right now? ¿Dónde estás sentado en este momento? Where are you sitting right now? The sitting side. Okay. In the what? Perdón, tenía interferencia. Dime, Denis. Where are you sitting? ¿Dónde estás sentado en ese momento? I am sitting in the chair. And I am sitting in the chair. Good. I am sitting in the chair for sure, right? Good. Good question. So that is where. Where are you teaching right now? I am teaching in San Salvador in my house, right? So where? Where are you going after the class? ¿A dónde van después de la clase? Where are you going after the class? Go, go in my bed. I am going to my bed, right? I am going to my bed. Good. So give me a question with uh, what? Questions with what? Questions with what? What? Uh -huh. I don't have anything right here. What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? I am waiting for for next month. <laughs> I am waiting for next month. Imagine if you see me doing this. What question can you make? What are you drinking? Ah, I am drinking water, people. I'm drinking water. What are you drinking? Okay, imagine if you see me doing this. What are you eating? Ah, what are you? Nothing. I don't have anything. Uh -huh. Imagine if I am doing this with my cell phone. Huh? What are you? What are you writing? What are, uh, what are you what are you checking? What are you writing? Right? So those are the nosy questions. Ya ven como son preguntas curiosas. Uh-huh. What are you doing? With who? With who? Are you saying? Who are we studying? Uh -huh. Who are? Who are you calling? Ah, who are you calling? No, no, no one, no one. Uh -huh. Who? Who are you chatting now? Who are you chatting? Who are you chatting with? Right. The groups. The groups. <laughs> Son los grupos, amor, le van a decir. <risa> a la una de la mañana. Ah, los grupos se llaman ahora. 
the groups. <laughs> the students, I say. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, like, ¿quién te escribe o quién te manda esos stickers? The groups, the groups. We do it, okay? So, it's it's true, right? So, those are examples with the WH questions. I have here a little game. I, I have here a little game of questions. And I am going to ask the first one to... Uy, okay. I am going to ask the first one to Edwin Ernesto. Porque anda que tiene sueño, que estoy cansado, que no sé qué, que no. Chin, 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 chin. Edwin, what are you doing tonight? Night, I'm learning English after I'm going to sleep. Excellent answer, you see? I am learning English and then I am going to sleep. Dennis, what is your friend doing next weekend? Dennis. ¿Cuál es? <laughs> Quiero analizarla. What is your friend doing next weekend? Uh, going to shop. She is or he is? Oh, he is to shopping. He is, el verbo, he is. He is going to shop. Thing. Going shopping, going shopping. Good. Going shopping. He is going shopping. Let me see. Mr. Diego, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Mm. What are you uh, doing tomorrow? I'm working. I'm working, right? I'm working. Mr. Uh, Kumayawa, are you going out on Friday night? Mr. Kamayawa, where are you? Lo hemos perdido. Hi, sir, what are you doing right now? Hey, se me perdió Mr. Kamayawa. Mr. Ronald, are you going out on Friday night? What? <laughs> are you going out on Friday night? Are you going out this Friday night? No, <laughs> no. No, uh, yes. No, no. No, everybody no. says no. No, I am sleeping. <laughs> Catherine, are you going to the cinema tonight? Are you going to the cinema tonight? I tampoco <laughs> te Yes or no? Are you going to the cinema? No, 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 no. Nunca, nunca. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my God, that's so. It's a beautiful experience. We need to go, Mr. Christian. What are you doing after class? What are you doing after class? ¿Qué vas a hacer después de la clase? What are you doing after class? Um, I am asleep. I am going to sleep, right? I am going to sleep. Let me see. Uh, Isabel, are you having an exam this week? Are you having an exam this week? No. No, <laughs> I did it already, just two weeks. Let me see, Mr. Luis Parrilla. Are you going shopping with your family this week? Are you going shopping with your family this week? Yes. Yes, I am, right? Mr. Walter, are you having breakfast with your parents tomorrow morning? In Espanol. Are you having breakfast with your parents tomorrow morning? Are you having breakfast with your parents, mom and dad, tomorrow morning? Mm. What is the meaning are, of this? Are you having breakfast? Are you having breakfast your, with your parents tomorrow parents morning? Tomorrow morning? What is the meaning of parents? No. 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 Okay. 
What is the meaning of this sentence? ¿Qué significa esta frase, Walter? Well, so, are you having... Are you having breakfast? Uh -huh. Vas a tomar desayuno mañana con tus parentes, tus parientes. Papás. Con tus papás. Con tus ah. padres. Ok. So. No, no. No, no you say no. Let I me see. Not. I am not. Very good. Mr. Ronald, are you playing video games this weekend? Yes. I know. <laughs> you were the, the right answer for that. And yes. let me see. I'm missing. <laughs> Ah, let me see. What are you doing in the next summer holiday, people? What are you doing in the next summer holiday? ¿Qué van a hacer en el siguiente feriado? Sleep. Sleep. You, you love to sleep, people. I, I love that from you. Okay, before anything else happens, antes de que se me vayan a sleeping, I am going to call the attendance, okay? And for sure, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let's see. Antes de que se me vayan a dormir. Y yo, oh no, nadie vino, no pasa lista. No, I'm kidding. Mr. Cristian Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Denny Gerardo. I am here. Diego Jose. Present. Thank you. Eh, Edwin Ernesto. Thank you. Thank you. Edwin Mauricio. Oh, okay. What happened? Jorge Antonio. Here. Karen Lisset. Present. Carlita Patricia. Present. Catherine Rosibel. Present. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Norma. Present. Ronald. Present. Víctor Manuel. Víctor Manuel. Hey, ¿En Víctor? Sí, sí, estoy, estoy. Ok, Estaba ok. <ríe> Walter Enrique. Present. Wendy Beatriz. And Isabel Fuentes. Presente. Thank you, thank you. Okay, perfect attendance. Only Johnny's were missing. Johnny's, wherever you are, we miss you in class. So... Here we go. Let's finish with this one. And in order to finish with today's exercises, we're missing 10 minutes of class and it's perfect for going back to what we were doing on the conversation. So let's go back here. And here I have Luis and Rita. In, para hacerle honor al nombre, we're going to go Luis and Isabel. Can you help me? <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Rita the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Teacher, una pregunta es, yeah. tell me or tell me? No, tell me. Tell, tell me. Tell me. Hey, Rita, sir, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it Taking place. Uh -huh. Well, today's staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the grid room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Arriving, do you know? Arriving. <laughs> Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning okay very good job they are arriving on friday morning excellent job thank you for my volunteers very good job and questions with wh that you can identify questions with wh who are attending who are attending the next one where is it taking place when are the materials arriving? Okay, very good. And let's see. Yes, we have it. Who are attending the annual conference this year? ¿Quiénes van a ir? And who are the people going? ¿Quiénes son los que van a ir? 
who are the people going? El staff. Okay, which staff? Cualquier staff? No, the staff. IT, the IT staff, right? The IT staff. Good. It's the informa information and, and uh, techniques, right? That it's like informaticos, los informaticos van. And where is it taking place? Where is it taking place? Yeah. Where is it taking place? Great room. Uh, um, it is taking place in the, the room. Is taking place in the great room. In the, let's see, it says in the conference room, in the great room, in the great room. It's in the big, in a big meeting room, so okay? yeah. The great room is el salon de conferencias. That's a great room. It's a conference room, right? I'm going to the great room right now, you say. In the great room, in the room for conferences. So in this case, it says, uh, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information, right? For sure, in this case, are they face-to-face -face or on the phone? Are the they, uh, they are on the phone, right? Because you have Rita here talking on the phone and here you have Luis answering the phone, right? They are talking on the phone. And when you say, hey, Rita, sure, tell me. It's like, uh-huh, decime, claro, con gusto. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place, okay? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Ah, uh, got it, yes, they are arriving on Friday morning, right? Those are the questions that you have here. And in order to complete the questions, what words did they use? Are the materials arriving? Que WH question usó? When. <clears throat> when, right, you have when. When are the materials arriving? Is attending the conference? Who, right? Who is attending the conference? And is the meeting taking place? Where? Where, right? Because you are talking about a place. Where is the meeting taking place? Excellent job. So in this one, we have the different things that I have been explaining you today. Okay, eso es lo mismo que les expliqué hoy por la, por la noche en la clase. What, when, where, why, which, who and how. Maybe the only one that it's different, it's which, right? If I say which bus, which, <laughs> which bus, <laughs> sorry, which bus are you taking to go to Haynes Brown? Which bus do you take to go to Haynes? ¿En qué bus puedo llegar ahí? Which bus can I take? Uh -huh. Si yo voy a ir a visitar Haynes, ¿en qué bus me puedo ir? Which bus am I taking? Don't tell me the yellow one, okay? ¿En qué bus puedo llegar a Haynes, Brian? Mi microbus de 138. 138. 138. Which oh, one? The bus. 133 133 133 138 which other cual otra solo esas dos 153 153 okay i don't know i don't know any of them but i will look for them no conozco ninguna pero la vamos a ir a buscar <laughs> i think the 138 yes maybe i have seen it Examples of questions. What company are you working for? What company are you working for? What is the name of the company? What company are you working for, people? I am working for? Confecciones Hiboa. Exactly like that. I am working for Confecciones Hiboa. And it says the groups. How? How is he? How would you complete the question? How is 
Let me write it here. How is he? What is the verb here? ¿Cuál verbo tenemos ahí? Divide. 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 How is he dividing the groups? ¿Cómo dividen los grupos? How is he dividing the groups? Okay, the next one. She hand the checks. When is she handing? ¿Qué significa handing? Handing is when I do this to you. Taking. Take it. Take it. Entregar. Very good job. Handing it. Entregar. Right. When is she handing the checks? We need the money. The next one. Which factory is your boss? Visiting. Which factory is your boss visiting this month? And the next one. Why? Why is the new secretary working? Working the next Saturday because she needs the money, right? Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? And if I say, I am going to give you five questions, right? Necesito que las copien, please. Copy the questions because that will be your homework. Okay. Here you have number two. Hi, sorry, 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 sorry. Me dislexia. <laughs> And here you have and the last one. There you have the five questions. If you want, you can screenshot them, you can take a picture, you can write it, it's okay. There you have the five questions. We are going to use it in the morning, okay? So keep it there, la vamos a usar mañana, así que please keep them. Take a screenshot or anything that you want, saque el screen, tome la foto, I don't know, I don't know where am I? And you are going to use it. Do you have them? ¿Ya las tienen? No. No, no did you? No. Yes. Okay. If you took a picture, si alguien les tomó foto, lo pueden ver al grupo. It's okay. Yes. You can send the picture to your group. Okay. Thank you very much. So, my dear students, that's all for today. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mr. Diego, for the picture, okay? The picture is on the WhatsApp chat. Have a fantastic night, and I am going to see you tomorrow, same time, same place. See you tomorrow. Chan, 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 chan. See you tomorrow. Chan, 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 chan. Elvin is tired. Go, go to sleep. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Bye.